What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Gus Savage. And if you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Gus Savage. If you ain't new to the channel, and you know it's been a little minute since I dropped the vlog. The last time I did a vlog was back in June of 2020 when I went to Tampa on vacation to visit my best friend. But listen, when we back, I've been a little bit preoccupied with a lot of music things, and I feel like I got my own right to do that, and I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job. I got four music awards under my belt, so hey, you know, I, I'm doing something right, obviously. But my return video, because I'm, since I'm back, my return video is to tell you guys I'm going on TV today. That's right, I am going on TV to promote my album that I've been working on, which is another reason why I haven't been doing YouTube videos. I've been working on this self-titled album that uh, brings out every aspect of me when it comes to musically. Um, so I got, I got a little bit of R&B, I got some pop in there, rap of course, like just basically everything that gotta do with Gusta Savage. And that drops January 28th, this Friday. Hopefully I can get this video up by the end of today. But today we're going on PA Live to promote the album, uh, answer some questions, we're getting an interview done. So like, this is my first time being on TV. It's a sister publication to NBC. So I don't know, I don't know how many people are gonna be watching. And I know that there's a lot of people in my city that are gonna see me on TV that know who I am. And there's a lot of people in my city who don't know who I am, who are gonna find out today exactly who I am. And I, hopefully I gain a new fan base today from that so without further ado we probably just gonna do like a whole time lapse into like leaving from where i'm at to getting to the building so let's just we, we about to just jump straight into that so i decided to skip the whole like time lapse thing and i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what i've been doing for this past year um it's first of all it's been crazy coronavirus hit the nation like a bag of potatoes and Everybody's been, you know, dealing with it in their own way. My family's been hit with it a few times. And um, right now we're going through something crazy with my aunt, but hopefully everything works out and things go smooth with her. Shout out to my aunt Daisy. Much love to you. Um, but I got my own studio in my apartment now. And I, as you can see, I got my own car. So I don't need anybody driving me around anymore. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty much I've just been, I've been working on, on myself. I've been working on my music, trying to rebrand myself into a more marketable product. And I've been trying to like dabble into wrestling too. That was my last video posted. I did a little wrestling match with my boy Mikhail. Shout out Mikhail, he took the belt, but you know what? I got something, I got something for you. A lot like maybe three, if you make it there. If you bring the belt with you, I don't know. But that's besides the point. I've just been working on new music, working with my grandparents. That's you know that's what I do for work um, to, to keep all this going, keep my music stuff going. But other than that, I, I haven't really done anything new as far as doing more shows. Uh, did a lot of shows recently. I did one for the Big Break Battle of Bands competition. I got second place that night. Uh, shout out to Old Kentucky Shark winning first place and making it all the way to the Mohegan Sun Bar Louie venue. And shout out to my good friend 570 for making it to the Bar Louie. And I hope to probably be there for that battle of the bands and see who takes it all. You know, I was blessed to be a part of it. So. I might, I might have to stop by and, and check out the final battle. So, currently in the McDonald's drive through right now, uh, waiting for my food. We are like, maybe like four or five minutes away from the TV studio. Our drinks is about to be out right now. The food is about to be here, the drinks is about to be here. The train is coming. Um, we're about to be at the studio soon. Sprite, crispy Sprite, and the food. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. Wow, that was a good timing. I said crispy Sprite, she said crispy chicken.
So guys, we finally made it to the WBRE building. You know what I'm saying? We're here. It's about to go down. Um, I'm walking into the building now. I had to go get a mask because we need a mask to get inside the building. Um, but it's it's crazy being in, inside the same building that NBC Films Eyewitness News. I'm about to check in, so I'll get back with you guys soon. We are here inside the PA Live studio where they do PA Live, obviously. And uh, this is this is where we're gonna be we're, we're gonna be seated. These nice beautiful chairs. Um, I'm I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm not knowing what to expect. Um, but this should be fun. This is my first time in a live studio for a TV. So this is this should be cool. I'll get right back with you guys. After everything, I, I'm i not meeting anybody right now. I'm, I'm in here alone, so I guess I could uh, explore and take some pictures. So, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Um, hey, Gus the Savage, you have made it to the set of PA Live. Yes, I'm here. I'm excited to be here, you know? Are we doing, we're doing an interview part two. Because we already did the first one, so now we're doing one for the blog. Oh, behind you know the what? scenes Actually, I, let, me, let me interview you guys. How long have you been a part of PA Live? Because I've been tuning in for years, but I, you know, on and off. So how long have you been Listen, a part of Listen, I'm brand new. This is my second day. Yeah. So you're really getting me fresh. You're my first musician interview. It's an honor for me too. It's gonna be good. We're gonna both grow and flourish, yeah. and it all started right here. What about you, Chris? I don't even work here. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no. Yeah. Wow. We got an infiltration right. here. <laughs> Intruder. <Savage>. Oh <laughs> uh, I've been here about a year and a half, awesome. and I'm just so thankful that you know this platform allows so many community members to come on and share their story their life their their passions with 19 counties throughout the state right you know, he even called me an industry expert i was scared God, like when he said that because i was like there's i'm not an industry i'm not an expert at You're nothing. Living the, the only thing the only thing i'm an expert at is making music that Look at his trophy case. <laughs> Industry <laughs> expert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing I love is the repping of the area. Like 570 is everywhere in the brand. Yeah, that that's, awesome. I, I got it because I feel like this area adopted me. You know, I, I moved here at such a young age and um, I, I adopted the city. The city adopted me. I, the B spot loves me a lot. So I'm probably going to be there tonight. So okay. I'll tell them to tune in online. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> I can't stop dancing. Just listen, no, I'm telling you what, we were listening, I'm not kidding, in the newsroom today. Oh my. And I was feeling really like I can't well, wait to Friday, see. Friday's gonna be a good song. I got a song on the album called Forever Love. Is that the, most, the one you're most excited for? Yeah, I, I like that because it's a love song. And you can really hear like, the emotion. So I, I did a lot of good let me ask you this. Is it like you write your own stuff inspired yes. by your real life? Um, a lot of, a lot of my stuff is inspired <laughs> by my real life. Our um, live studio audience is laughing behind the camera. Right. <laughs> that, you know, people can relate to. Love that. Well, something that I cannot relate to because it looks very, very expensive. Maybe we can get a close-up of this. Look at this watch. I don't know where you got that, but you gotta let me know. This is a Paul Rich uh, Stardust Foster watch. Glass and the so I did what I had to do, did my TV interview, and that it, it was it was crazy. It was crazy. I had a, a fun time, I had a blast, and I can't wait to do it again. Shout out to Chris and Rachel. They were phenomenal. I know I did phenomenal. I was very nervous, but I don't know if you could tell. Um, I'll be able to have a full clip of it soon posted on my channel. Tonight, we're going to perform. We're going to go sing some tunes at the V-Spot. So that's going to be a part of the vlog. So stick around because the, night, the night's not done yet. We did PA live. Now we got to go perform live. Let's go. Guys, I made it to the V-Spot. My girlfriend is shorter than me. Uh, so she can't really be in the frame. <laughs> but we made it to the V. Uh, we're going to be performing later on in the night. 
Right now we're at act number 12. I'm going up as act number 20, so we got a long ways to go. But I'm gonna go inside, enjoy my time. Y'all just stick around and, and just wait for me to, to get on stage and kill it. You already know. So I told little shorty coming out the bathroom with the American Eagle, right? I told the shorty I'm wrong. So if you let me hit it with your head wrap on, that's the only protection. I bought a silk bed set so you don't have to tie it down with my hands when I run through. Please don't take your wow, wow thoughts. My beige and butte craves to be whipped, laid, and slayed. I'm so into you that I weave the curves like tracks to get to your lace. Baby girl, stop fronting. I'm here to wear grill. See nip slips. Kiss two lips. Bedroom boom shit. Wrap you up and pin you down as I do be doing what I want to. You will scroll the bag. My buddy George out here in the cut, you know. Gusty Savage, everybody already knows. Any PA scene, let me tell you what, PA Live, uh -huh. everybody knows. We're about to drop this uh -huh. Friday. Right. Come on, get him. Gusty Savage, That's right. we ready. Ah. Let's kick it. I didn't get a chance to do an outro last night, so I'll give you guys one right now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for the return video. We are here, and we're here to stay. A lot more content coming for 2022. Album drops January 28th, produced by Jex, Revenue Bangers, and Nate Will, three fire producers that I recommend you guys check out. Everything you need to know is gonna be in the link in the description below. Listen, new videos, I don't know when, I'll probably figure out a schedule for them, but as of right now, here, here's a new one right here. Stay tuned, because we're back. We're we going crazy. <laughs>